In the recent years, we have seen several trends and user demands. If you look at technology and business as two extremes, we see there is a rise in the non-technical users, overtaking the technology skill set. In the past, we have seen many organizations invested in highly technical resources, which is now slowly declining. What we see is a crossroad of two users creating a new model for self-service. Users are now looking for easy and consumable access. There are many driving forces leading to this ecosystem. Here, we're looking at the four key drivers when it comes to data governance. First is insights analytics. This is an area where organizations looking to attain self-service to enable data analysts, data scientists, looking to create reports, perform predictive analytics, and other business activities. Two is regulatory compliance. We see in data governance, regulatory compliance continues to be a driver. Recently, with the surge in privacy regulations like GDPR, CCPA, it's requiring organizations to take a look at data, apply data governance to achieve these business outcomes. Even organizations who don't have to comply with these regulations are treating data as an enterprise asset and looking to achieve data governance. Third is business enablement. This is an area where companies are looking to come out of data silos. And as they come out of the silos, they're looking to establish data ownership, look at customer patterns to drive customer experience, product experience, and service offerings. And lastly, digital transformation. This is an area where we see, especially post-COVID, we see more and more organizations are looking to lift and shift data to cloud. And as they go through this journey, they're looking at data governance as the toll gate, which means as you move data through the toll gate, making sure data has appropriate definition, quality, lineage, and ownership. Let's take a look at a customer video describing the very data governance problem. We'll come out the other end and we'll ask some questions. Our business is powered by data. Our customers create data every day worldwide. We have huge amounts of it in lots of different formats and of varying quality. So when we try and fit it together, it doesn't seem quite right. We need to manage our data better. But this isn't easy. It will require long-term change. Good data is critical if we are to create a customer-centric bank. In response to customers' changing needs, we are transforming our digital capability and providing simpler, seamless interactions across every channel. All of this change is powered by data. Without a strong data foundation, the group will not be able to fulfill this objective, now or in the future. Data can help drive improved customer experience, cost efficiency, and regulator confidence. To get these foundations in place, let's think of our data like a supermarket. Different types of data enter the supermarket from different places and is offloaded in a staging area. There, it gets labelled and checked to make sure it passes quality control. If it doesn't, the supplier is informed and the goods are replaced. Data is packaged and grouped together in the stockroom. Because the data is well labelled and organised, staff can easily find the data they want. Even when it's on the shelf, the data is continuously checked to ensure staff can always access quality data. And if staff cannot find what they're looking for or have a problem, there is someone they can go to for help meaning the products customers see on the shelves are always backed up by good data. Sounds easy, right? Well, it doesn't always work that way. Things can go wrong. Imagine a supermarket with a poor supply chain. Some trucks arrive with only a few boxes, some with the wrong boxes. Some might not even arrive in trucks at all. Imagine if the products had the wrong labels or no labels at all. Each box would need to be opened up to see what's inside, and some products would be completely inappropriate. The stockroom would be chaos. Products that hadn't been quality controlled would end up on shelves, with unsuspecting customers taking products that don't work as advertised or put them at risk. And what if customers had problems, questions or requests? If staff don't have access to good information, they may be unable to provide answers, or even worse, may offer incorrect direction or advice. Customers might be tempted to leave our supermarket altogether and go straight to other supermarkets for their products. 
Because of the need for good data management, the bank has invested in a group data office so that we can build a consolidated, managed and measured data foundation, where everyone contributes to the foundation in order to use data to power our business. Everyone has responsibilities when creating, transforming and consuming data. Your data office. Building the foundations for a customer-centric, forward-looking bank. Which of these four capabilities are important to you? If you were to rank four business outcomes, like the insights and analytics, regulatory compliance, business enablement, and digital transformation. This brings us to a close for our first topic, which is data governance, market perspective, business drivers, and community around it. Thank you.